How are we doing, folks? Welcome into week four of High School Football Pick'em. I'm Jason Blakeney. With me is Brady Amon. Brady, last week uh, we both go five and four, staying above 500, dwelling set, around 600. Set the world on fire last week. Oh, we did set the world on fire. <laughs> it's amazing uh, that your lead has been uh, extended all the way to uh, zero games yeah, over me. I'm just hammering you this year. It's <laughs> just amazing how much. Uh, I just Each week I keep getting further and further and further. Uh, even with you. <laughs> so it's, it's pretty amazing. Absolutely. We've, we've actually tied every week, uh, but not by picking the same No, games. no. We, just, we end up winning, losing and winning, and it ends up tied in the night. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and I want to thank uh, Scambia for getting their first win, uh, pulling pulling back from uh, 21-7 in uh, the fourth quarter last week to win in overtime, uh, letting me not be behind Brady this week. So yeah. thanks a lot there, Gators. I appreciate that. Uh, with that, let's get right into it, and we've got uh, Catholic going to Crestview. Uh, I like Catholic uh, bouncing back from the PHS game. I think they gained some confidence, even though they lost. Then they showed that they could play, you know, with the big boys. All right, I like uh, Catholic also. I like the speed on that team, so I think they can pull out the win. Uh, Gulf Breeze traveling uh, east, going to Panama City, Arnold. Not a tough game to, to kind of handicap because uh, you know if you go by history, you kind of feel like Arnold has you know the the upper hand in this one. But Gulf Breeze has played well. I'm going to go ahead and. St- Stay with Arnold just because they're playing at home, and I think they just kind of have a couple big playmakers that be the difference in this game. I'm going to take Gold Freeze. Uh, you know, they proved me right the last time they went east, and uh, so I'm going to stick with them. Maybe they'll bring back another 55 nothing win for me <laughs> and uh, make you look ridiculous twice in one year. West Florida also going over to Panama City, taking on Bay. I'm going to go with West Florida. They've been good for me this year, 3-0 and with them, so I'm going to stick with them for one more week at least. I'll take West Florida also. I don't uh, think Bay has the horses to keep up with uh, – Jalen Jones, Kyle Faxlinger, and the rest of that offense. Uh, Jay traveling north, going to uh, Flemington, Alabama. Jay's kind of hit a bl- roadblock, and this is not going to be another another tough one for him. I'm going to go with Flemington. Yeah, Flemington, uh, I believe they're undefeated in Alabama mm-hmm. so far. So I'm going to take Flemington also. Uh, south Walton is hosting uh, Northview. Uh, I like Northview's chances of bouncing back after the Chipley loss. I, th- I think they went pretty easily. Yeah, the Chiefs don't do a whole lot of losing two in a row under Sid Wheatley, so I'll, uh, I'll stick with uh, Northview also. Uh, Tate traveling over, taking on Scambia. Uh, like a Scambia to win two in a row. They, you know, they won last week. Emotional win. I think they're going to take care of Tate and start off one and zero in district. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, how their emotions play out this week after a couple of tough emotional weeks. Uh, death of a former player two weeks ago. You have a guy in the, in the closing minutes get taken off on a stretcher last week. Uh, let's see how their emotions are. And uh, but I do like uh, Scambia also. I'm going to take them. Uh, Milton travels over to take on PHS. Uh, I'm going to go with PHS. I think Milton has a great defense. Their offense just hasn't come around. I think PHS takes this one. Yeah, I like PHS also. Uh, until uh, Milton shows me they can consistently uh, put some points on the board. Uh, I like it to be close, though. I, I do think that Milton defense is legitimate. They haven't, uh, haven't given up a whole lot of points this year, so I think they can uh, hang tight, but I am going to go with PHS. Uh, Niceville, they are traveling to Navarre. Uh, it's a tough one, you know. Not, you know, it's it's amazing. Niceville could be one and two right now, but they're two and one. Navarre could be two and one, but they're one and two. It's a district game. Uh, I think Navarre is going to bounce back. I like Navarre's chances in this one. Yeah, I saw uh, uh, Niceville take on uh, Pine Forest last week. Uh, had a couple of big plays, but outside of that, they uh, didn't do a whole lot of moving the football against Pine Forest. I also like Navarre. And uh, speaking of Pine Forest, our uh, news radio is sixteen twenty. Game of the week, uh, Brady Amon will be there on Friday. And it's uh, Pace traveling over to Pine Forest in a huge uh, District 1 6A game. Yeah, good, ba- good battle there between two teams that you know tradition rich. Uh, I went against Pace last week, and it hurt me. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to, stay, to go with Pace this week, but I'm going to take the home team, Pine Forest. I think they just have too many weapons, and I think they're going to pull out the home win this week. Yeah, I like Pine Forest also. Uh, Picked Pace to beat them last year. They go and uh, get the upset. And uh, after the game, uh, DC and I, both covering that game, uh, go to do some interviews. And the only thing that a couple of Pine Forest players would say to DC was the score that he picked in the paper uh, for them to lose. So that was uh, kind of interesting. I like them to win this one. All right, so that uh, wraps it up. And that's all of our picks. Join us tomorrow for our preview video. Uh, we'll break down each game and uh, let you know the ins and outs of each team, who's going to play, who's not. I'm Jason Blakeney, this is Brady Amon, and we will see you tomorrow.